T.D. Jakes has headed the Potter's House, a non-denominational megachurch in Dallas, Texas, for more than 30 years. His leadership has converted the church into a major spiritual center for thousands of Christians, attracting a varied congregation from all walks of life and ethnic backgrounds. His fight for social justice and emphasis on fairness is strong and motivating. Under his leadership, the Potter's House has evolved into a powerful, devoted, and community-oriented organization with a purpose to share love and hope. Stop chasing people who are leaving. Stop chasing people who don't get it. Stop chasing trying to get back in your life. People that God is trying to take out of your life, let them go. This is a time in your life that you can no longer continue to grieve about who walked away, who abandoned you, who forsook you, who left you, who walked away. You've got to stand up and recognize that God doesn't need anything that you lost to bless you. God will always use what you've got left. Let them go. T.D. Jakes has lately encountered a number of serious hurdles, culminating in a contentious lawsuit against Diddy. Late last year, Jakes was mentioned in the sexual assault lawsuit involving scene Diddy Combs. His wife, Sarita Jakes, was unable to endure the stress of supporting him and filed for divorce and spousal maintenance. Their children have also shown their support for Sarita, encouraging their father to provide her with financial assistance, feeling she deserves it. In addition, the Jakes family has fear was a combination of appreciation, regret, and reverence. Bishop T.D. Jakes presented a moving farewell message to the Potter's House congregation. This moving statement marked the end of an era, as Bishop Jakes said goodbye to the job he had faithfully served for many years. As Bishop Jakes mounted the stage to say his goodbyes, the Potter's house was filled with expectation and emotion. The assembly, which had been moved by his teachings, listened to every word he said with appreciation, humility, and regret. The church members listened closely, their gaze locked on their adored leader. Memories flitted their thoughts as they pondered on the innumerable sermons, lectures, and spiritual growth opportunities they had received under Bishop Jakes' leadership. Many congregants' eyes welled up with tears as they recalled the Potter's House's transformative power, a place where broken lives were repaired, dreams were ignited, and hope was restored. Bishop Jake reflected on his journey, acknowledging the community's support and love over the years. He spoke on faith's transforming power, sharing examples of people who found hope and healing within the Potter's House. Please do me a favor and stop worrying about me and give God some praise and honor and glory. I can feel you. Bishop Jakes emphasized that the actual measure of his ministry's success was not in numbers, but in the lives affected by the message of God's love and grace. As he waved farewell to the Potter's House congregation, he spoke words of encouragement and optimism for the future. He reminded the community that their goal to convey love, compassion, and spiritual growth must continue and encourage them to carry the flame forward. He underlined the value of togetherness, encouraging the congregation to be firm in their faith and dedication to making a positive difference in the world. Bishop Jakes also addressed the community's struggles during his term, noting periods of shared pain, loss, and uncertainty. However, he emphasized the community's resiliency encouraging them to persevere in their pursuit of spiritual growth and togetherness. As he said his goodbyes, Bishop Jakes reminded the audience that their journey would not finish with his departure. He encouraged them to maintain their faith, support the new leadership, and continue to foster a spirit of love, compassion, and inclusiveness. It was a call to the community to continue their transformational mission, ensuring that the Potter's House remains a beacon of hope for future generations. Bishop T.D. Jakes' goodbye to the Potter's House congregation demonstrated his persistent dedication to the spiritual growth and change of the community. His parting speech not only had a significant impact on the congregation, but it also demonstrated his far-reaching influence on the lives of countless people. This impassioned address captured the spirit of his ministry, leaving an unforgettable impression on those who were moved by his teachings. As Bishop Jakes begins a new chapter in his life, his legacy of love, compassion, and faith will continue to inspire and encourage people all around the world.
As the service came to an end, Bishop Jakes gave a sincere prayer for the Potter's House congregation, asking blessings of peace, strength, and prosperity in the coming days. The church answered with a booming chorus of amens, demonstrating the strong link of faith and camaraderie that had been formed under Bishop Jake's guidance. I was glad that you are here and we greet you in the name of the Lord one more time for our streaming audience. Bishop T.D. Jake's parting talk not only marked the end of an era at the Potter's House, but also demonstrated the long-term influence he will have well beyond the church's physical place. His sermons and lessons have connected with millions across a variety of media channels, with platforms like as YouTube broadcasting his lectures and gaining millions of viewers. Bishop Jake's legacy is distinguished not just by his captivating personality, but also by his unwavering commitment to empowering individuals and promoting communal development. His retirement from the Potter's House is a symbolic passing of the torch as he entrusts the community's destiny to new leadership while urging a large audience to pursue spiritual growth and make a meaningful contribution to society. Bishop Jake's departure provokes conflicting feelings among the Potter's House flock. It's an opportunity to say goodbye to a beloved leader and friend while also honoring his enduring legacy and the enormous influence he made on their lives. His remarks are a poignant reminder of the power found in faith love, and community, which can overcome even the most challenging obstacles. As the congregation comes to terms with Bishop Jake's departure, they develop a sense of communal resolve and solidarity. They are resolved to carry on his legacy by building a community based on love, acceptance, and compassion. Despite facing an uncertain future, they remain confident in their capacity to weather any storm, bolstered by their faith and supported by their church community. With Bishop Jake's farewell to the Potter's House congregation, a new chapter begins for both the pastor and the community he leaves behind. Although his physical presence may no longer adorn the pulpit, his legacy of love, hope, and service will continue to inspire and guide those impacted by his purpose. Despite their sadness at their beloved pastor's leaving, the Potter's House congregation remains steadfast in their commitment to honoring his teachings and upholding his vision. As they manage this change and reflect, they recognize that Bishop T.D. Jake's goodbye is a new beginning, a call to face the future with faith, bravery, and unwavering devotion to the principles that shape their community. Amidst the emotional background of Bishop Jake's farewell, the Potter's House congregation is at a crossroads, ready to embark on a new chapter of development, service, and spiritual renewal. Moving forward, they are certain that Bishop Jake's legacy will always serve as a guiding beacon, illuminating their path and inspiring them to reach new heights of faith and love. Anyway, we hope you liked seeing this film, and we pray that we will all continue to strive to please God. Please let us know in the comments section below. Please remember to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerted when new videos are added. Thank you for the notification bell which allows you to be alerted when new videos are uploaded. Thank you for watching.